Nikki, you're following this story uh, from New South Wales, the uh, pensioner pokies feud. <laughs> I had a look at that. <laughs> Betty Cameron, 59, turned a 25-cent bet into a $48,000 windfall at the push of a button on a poker machine a New South Wales court heard yesterday. But when the five sevens fell into line, it also sounded the death knell of decades of friendship between <laughs> Mrs Cameron and her childhood friend Isa Randall. The two pensioners are finding it out in court over who is entitled to the cash. But this whole story raises a bigger question, I think, and that is... What is wrong with the old people today? Mm. Where are their manners? Mm. In my day, old people were polite, well-spoken. They'd get up for you on the bus. They were seen and not Mm. heard. Nowadays, they're out of control. They get their pension checks and they can't wait to get down the RSL and blow the lot on the pokies. We won't have pokies when I'm old. We'll have to make our own entertainment. (laughs) These oldies should be looking to their youngers and living by their example because while they're down the club staring blankly at the rows of screens, feeding money into these newfangled pokey machines like mindless zombies, stopping only to shandy on or rage away to a bit of their Jeff Harvey style, well, I suppose they call it music. (laughs) Where are the young people? They're at home, too scared to leave their homes, many of them working on their computers. Sure, they're probably downloading hardcore pornography, (laughs) but when there's hooligans like Isa Randall and Betty Cameron roaming the streets, who can blame them? You know what these old people need, Mick? Mm. Another dose of national service. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) That'd get them off the streets, teach them a bit of discipline and show them there's more to life than pokey scones and the midday show.